Hello there and welcome to this video which is going to be focusing on finding out the chemical formula of ionic compounds when you are given the charge of the anion and the cation. Okay, so in an exam you might get a question such as aluminium reacts with chlorine to form aluminium chloride. What is the formula of aluminium chloride? So to be able to answer this question the first thing you need is the symbols of the elements involved. Aluminium and chlorine, AlCl. Number two, how many electrons do they have in the outer shell? Look on your periodic table, what group are they in? Aluminium's in group three, and chlorine's in group seven. Number three, you need to actually draw the electronic configuration. Remember, just focusing on the outer shells here, for both aluminium and chlorine. So aluminium, three in the outer shell, and chlorine, seven. So the next thing you need to know is what they want to do. So aluminium, it's easier to lose three electrons, and chlorine wants to gain one. Now you know from the previous videos and the previous information that aluminium will give its electrons to chlorine, however, there's still two left. Chlorine is now complete, aluminium needs to lose two more. So you add another chlorine, move the electron over from aluminium, and then I need to do it again. So I need to have three chlorines for every aluminium atom when making aluminium chloride. So how can I turn this into the actual formula? It's nice and simply, one aluminium, three chlorines, which gives me AlCl3. Now, that's going to take a bit of time to do. So is there a simpler way of actually working out that formula? The answer is yes, which I'm going to show you now. So provided you can work out the charges of the elements, and there are some ones that will be given to you in the exam, your first step is to remove the charge. So rub out the plus and the minus on either side. Number two, take the number at the top. Remember, it's got to be at the top and swap it around. So move it onto the other side and then move that number down below, move it subscript. And that's it. That shows you you've got the formula. However, there are a few exceptions. The first of which being if the charges are the same, so if you've got two plus, two minus, or one plus one minus, you don't do anything. It's already balanced, therefore that is the formula of your compound. So for example, Cu2 plus and O2 minus cancel each other out, so you have CuO. The second one is if you have something called a compound ion, which is a compound that has a charge. Now, if you have something like that and you need to multiply that by two or three, you need to put a bracket in. So the example here is if you're reacting copper with a hydroxide ion, do the same again, rub out the charges, move them around, but because you've got two of oxygen and two of hydrogen, you need to put it in a bracket like that. So just as a recap then, a compound ion is any compound that is charged. And the ones that you need to know for the exam in particular are sulfate, which is SO4 2 minus, OH minus, which is a hydroxide, NO3 minus, and CO3 minus, 2 minus which is a nitrate and a carbonate. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of examples then. So in the first place, we have sodium hydroxide. Now, in this case, both the plus and the minus are the same charge. As I said before, our exception is, in this case, we do nothing. So we have one Na and one OH. So our formula is NaOH. The second one, we have Al3 plus and OH minus. So get rid of the charge and then take that three and move it onto the other side and down below. Because OH is a compound, we need to put a bracket in. So it's AL in brackets OH3, making sure that three is on the outside of the brackets to show I've got three oxygens and three hydrogens. Na plus and O2 minus, same again, get rid of the charge. Take that number two and move it down below. So that gives me the formula of Na2O. The next one, we've got H plus and SO4 2 minus. So again, remove the charge, take that two and put it down below down there. So it gives me H2 SO4, which is sulfuric acid. Now the final one is probably one of the most complicated you'll come across. We have Al3 plus and CO3 2 minus. So take the numbers, swap them around once you've got rid of the charge. So that two goes down there and 3 goes down after the carbonate. 
Now we've got CO33, so again, you need to have a bracket. So it's AL2, open bracket, CO3, close brackets, 3. As you can see, I have drawn here. Okay, let's have a look at a quick question for this then. So question one says, work out the chemical formula for the following compounds. You've got lithium carbonate, potassium oxide, magnesium hydroxide, calcium bromide, and ammonium sulfate. So if we break that question down, what you've got to be able to do is figure out the charge for the metals or non-metals that you'd be expected to know. Those are the ones in group one, two, six, and seven. If you can't remember how to work out the charge of those, go back and click on the link here and have a look at the video. Once you can do that, the compound ions will usually be given to you. So you know carbonate is CO3 with a charge of 2 minus. You know hydroxide is OH with a charge of minus. Ammonium is NH4 with a charge of plus. Bearing in mind that is plus 1, not plus 4. That 4 is down at the bottom. And sulfate, which is SO4. To minus. Think back to what we've done throughout this video, think back to what we did there when you worked out the charges and have a go at the question. Pause the video and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. So if we go to the first question then, which is lithium carbonate. So the first thing you need to do is you need to write down the actual compound ion or ions. In this case, we've got CO3, 2 minus, which we, we were told in the question, and we've got lithium, which is in group 1, so it becomes Li plus. So you do the same as what we've been doing, you rub out the charge on both sides, and then you swap the number over, so that 2 goes down there. So this gives you the overall formula of the compound of Li2, CO3, which gets you your first mark. On to question two, potassium oxide. So again, potassium, you know, is in group one. If it's in group one, it becomes plus. And oxygen is in group six, so it becomes O2 minus. You do the same thing again, rub out the charge on either side, and move that two down below to the opposite side, which gives you K2O as your formula, which gives you your mark for this question. Magnesium hydroxide. Again, the hydroxide you've been given, which is OH minus, and magnesium, which is in group two. So you look, find out where it is, group two, so it becomes Mg2 plus. Now, this one's slightly more complicated, so you rub out the charge, you put the two down below. But the issue is, we've got a compound ion, so we need to put brackets in. So it becomes Mg, brackets, OH, close brackets, two. Which gives you a mark for this one. Calcium bromide, this one's a lot more straightforward. You have calcium, which is in group 2, and bromine, which is in group 7. So if it's in group 2, it becomes Ca2+. Plus. If it's in group 7, it becomes Br-. minus. You do the same thing again, get rid of the charge, move the number, and it becomes CaBr2. And then onto the final one, which is ammonium sulfate. So this one, you don't need the periodic table for, it gave you the question. Oops. So what we need to do here is write down the symbols and the ionic equation. So NH4 plus, SO4, 2 minus. And we do the same thing. So rub out the charge on both sides and then move that 2 down below onto the left-hand side. So it becomes NH4, 2. Straight away you can see the issue. So we need to put a bracket in because it is a compound ion. So I get NH4 in brackets, 2, SO4. Hopefully you got 5 out of 5 there. If not, go back, recheck the video and see if you can pick it up. If you are confident on that section, have a look at the review, which is explain how to work out the formula of an ionic compound when you're given the charges of the ions. You may use the ions Mg2 plus and Cl minus to help you, which is worth 3 marks. And that ends this video.